All right, uh, hello everybody. Uh, in this video, I'm gonna show you guys um, the quality of the projector projecting image on just a plain wall. It's kind of cool because um, it just shows that you don't need a, a screen. But obviously, you know, you'll get better quality on this on the screen. But I'm just gonna show in this video how it looks. Uh, this is my wall that I have. I already took down the, the picture frames that I had on the wall. Um, I don't know if you can tell, but I, there's a screw still. Yeah, I didn't remove them because I'm just going to show real quick, you know. But uh, when, I turn on, when I turn on the projector, you'll see the quality. Uh, this wall, the color is uh, kind of like a little off-white or beige or almond. I don't know what you want to call it. And it's actually textured. So let me see if I could get close. Can you tell the texture and there's the screws for the picture frames and some putty from previous paint job. But anyways, you get the picture. Oh, sorry. Um, well, yeah, that's the, the paint color, the texture of the wall. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and fire up the projector. That way you can see the quality. As you can see, you know, here's my living room. There's the kitchen. And uh, I'll go ahead and uh, turn on the projector and turn off the lights. So, hold on for a second. Here's the projector. I had it on. That way it won't take that long for the video. But that's with, you know, light on, uh, this uh, light fixture and then the kitchen lights. I'll turn off the living room light right now. But you can already tell that it looks good. So let me turn off the lights. There's one set of lights. That's, uh, that, that set of lights was this light fixture. And then the kitchen lights are still on, and you can tell where my projector's at. Let me zoom in for you. So you see, you don't need a, a screen if you have a blank wall with nothing on it. Nothing hanging, and it's, you know, not that uh, puttied up or anything. Because you can tell, I don't know if you can tell from right here. You can see the texture, a little bit of the texture, and the uh, screws. Let me zoom in. But once you start watching the movie, you can't really tell because you get into the movie. The, the size of this right here that I'm able to project at this angle, because the projector's at an angle. This size, I think, uh, was like around 117, 115. Yeah, and over here is my screen. The 135 inch. But uh, let me start the movie. I don't know if I even need to turn off the kitchen lights because you, you can already tell that it looks pretty good. But yeah, they are on. Ross, if Phoenix comes out that he can access computers, operate all vehicles, knows the location of every damn thing in town, and is three times stronger than when he went in. So what do you think? Can you give me Phoenix's radar program now? Sure. Access code for Simon Phoenix? Access Simon Phoenix. Like I said, once you get into the movie, you totally forget that you're just projecting on the wall. What? Security overrides. Can't be right. So see? I don't know if I need to Access zoom in closer, but that is a wall. Accessing Simon Phoenix. File rehab 65R, urban combat kill, torture methodology, computer override authority, survival tactics, terrorism tactics, weapons training, martial arts, murder, death, kill, explosives technician, violent behavior. This isn't a proper rehabilitation program. No kidding. This would create a monster. Who develops these programs? Well, Cocteau Industries, of course. Different Why angle? the benevolent Dr. Cocteau send such a brute savage into our midst? Well, that's a big question. Why don't we go ask? Oh, there's my camera. You do not accuse the savior of our city of being connected with a multi murder death killer like Simon Phoenix. It's rude. Oh, 
Yeah, so I'm good, so. All right, guys. Hope you like the video. Talk to you later.